Daniel Daly here. This is a review of Wonder Woman 75th Anniversary Special. Okay. Right. Just read it then. Now it's a uh, short story collection. All, all, little, all little shorts. It's traditional sort of stuff which Wonder Woman handles. Variety of writers, variety of artists. First story, traditional sort of Wonder Woman fighting the Nazi story and triumphs as usual. She always wins, doesn't she? And uh, there's what it's in it's in France. There's a French French young lady who's praying to Saint Joan of Arc, and she sees in Wonder Woman Joan of Arc a redeemer. And I think perhaps in some ways Wonder Woman's always been like Joan of Arc. She's a strong, powerful, wonderful woman who overcomes evil by fighting in strength. I found this, um, this, um, fighting in strength, I found that particularly interesting. That short story, uh, uh, it's a story of a tiger which has its mate killed and gets its vengeance of a hunter. But I found that, 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 that artwork scene, it's sort of like Disney Lion King artwork. And, um, I just sort of thought that, that that's the kind of stuff a, a Wonder Woman cartoon movie would be interesting. Stuff like that. Mine's with Dot the Kangaroo and I work like that from Australian kids movies and stuff like that. But uh, make a good cartoon movie, that sort of style. That's usually the stuff they do. And uh, just struck me that Wonder Woman, like superheroes, are generally pretty special stuff. Um, I like this stuff. Brian Bond is an old Wonder Woman artist from years ago, but there's some they've done some unreleased cover art that he'd, that he'd done stuff which was never released never done as covers and um found this one pretty damn cool check that out that's like a never ne that was never released it's like the old DC logo from 1977 I think it is to 2005 or something like that that was a planned cover for a Wonder Woman but uh, just a cover they had in mind but never got done but isn't that great work it's really cool work. She's a real vixen, that one. One of them looking at her best. Uh, so it's, it's worth getting to track down Brian Bolland artwork. But uh, the stories are pretty strong. It's a pretty, uh, it's a, it's an eclectic collection all over the place. Stories from, and ideas from here and there. But usually addressing the issues of heroism and justice as uh, Wonder Woman, which is usually a more serious comic, does. And, uh, I've done it well. There's a variety of artwork styles, as you can imagine. There's, uh, there's some stuff going on there. And, um, yeah. yeah. Pretty good stuff. There's a interview thing in the center with, uh, who was it with? Wonder Woman in Conversation by Lois Lane. So Lois Lane's interviewing Wonder Woman, so it's, uh, yeah, pretty much fiction. Yeah. Didn't read that, but maybe one day. There was, there's some songs and some sort of poetry. There's this O Femascari thing, which is pretty much a poetry sort of thing, just a short poetry thing. Um, there's this 70, The Age of Wonder was pretty good. And, um, short but sweet. There's Wonder Woman's 75 song. Which is sort of, that's obviously the, um, what's that comic, uh, that DC comics Bombshells. Pretty sure that's the Bombshells artist and Bombshells team probably doing that. Most likely, it looks like Bombshells team. Pretty sure it probably is. Might not be, but I'm pretty sure it is because that looks like DC comics Bombshells sort of stuff. I read a little bit of that, DC comics Bombshells. Good stuff, DC comics Bombshells. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, Here's one of the, um, probably one of the main stories in the Legend of Wonder Woman, right? Yeah, Legend of Wonder Woman thing, yeah, that was the mini-series or a mini series or whatever it was. Yep, uh, another Nazi story. They do them well with Wonder Woman. Classic story, very good artwork, very well detailed, very well filled out and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, Baroness, the blonde lady, is Baroness... Von Gunther, and she's lost her daughter Goethe, 
and she's got she's very annoyed and she's bombing cities because she's very annoyed probably throughout France or somewhere I don't know where she's bombing them but uh, uh, it's sort of entire cities and so uh, but it's a it's a sort of redemption as that's a common enough theme throughout superhero comics and Wonder Woman comics yeah it's got it's got what you could imagine with a there's a scene in that adventure where she's confronting a, a lady a lady who's at a grave uh, that young lady is at a grave one woman's confronting her. It's in this, that same story with Baris, Baron von Gunther, whatever it was. And um, just moral lessons and Wonder Woman, this, this 75th anniversary special is full, full of moral lessons, morality morality tales. And um, yeah, it does its job well. There's some more of the different sort of styles of artwork which is fighting an evil creature. So, um, there's all sorts of artwork styles, stories and tales in here. Uh, here's some of the fun, the fun, funky stuff. That's a funky, fun one. Sort of like cool sort of stuff, cool, fun stuff. So it's, it's, it's all addressed, all different sort of, well, not all of them, of course. It's countless styles, but um, all sorts of styles and ideas are addressed. A classic, classic superhero at the end when Superman shows up fighting Titano. Classic Superman story in the end. It's all addressed, it's a... It's like a little anthology title all, all on its own. Wonder Woman's 75th anniversary special, number one, $7.99. It was produced uh, December 2016, so... Oh, about a year and a half ago. So it's, it's, it's recent. It's, it's not new, but it's recent. This is July, August 2018, actually. 1st of August 2018. So it's, um, it's a recent comic. And, uh, yeah, look... Uh, Pretty, pretty decent read. The stories, um, you can get it all read in one sitting, of course, but um, you could take your time and read a story every now and again. But it's solid comic reading. It does its job, and uh, sometimes I talk about investment potential on comics. I'm not really sure if these sorts of comics have much investment until, uh, ooh, probably need a hundred years on something like this, I think, before there's much in it. Don't really know. But, um, could pick up one day, but uh, it's that's not really the thing in the end. In the end, the comic's supposed to sell because it's a good comic. This is a good comic, so uh, it's recommended. Wonder Woman 75th anniversary special, number one from DC Comics. Go off and get it.